Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something that's different to what I usually do. We're gonna be doing a, a makeup challenge. I don't think I've actually done a challenge on my channel before. So I saw this video on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, I will leave my name over here or one of the sides. So you guys can go check out my content on TikTok. I just have a lot of fun on that um, platform. Anyway, so I saw a lot of girls doing this challenge where you choose um, a palette that has quite a few different shades and then you choose three numbers and whatever you select, you have to create like an eyeshadow look out of that. But instead of doing it on TikTok, I wanted to do it on here. All right, so the palette that I am gonna be using is my Patricia Bright one. Just because this is the palette like that has the most variety, I guess. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this palette on my channel before. Um, so we've got like yellow and pink and blue, green. So there is like a variety at the bottom over here. And then we've also got some nice like transitional shades. And I've, <laughs> I've prepped my numbers over here. So I'm gonna choose numbers like at random. And then let's see what we can come up with. So if you guys wanna watch this makeup challenge, then just keep watching, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so I have already counted the amount of pans in this palette and there are 28 individual shadows in here. So I'm just gonna be choosing like any random ones out of the bowl. Okay, the first one is 25. Then we've got 28, oh gosh. nervous <laughs> and nine okay i know this is gonna be something with color because it's in the 20s which means it's like the last ones oh so 28 is this bright blue color over here 25 would be 27 26 25 guys what the fuck <laughs> No man. Okay, and then nine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I got brown sugar as the last color. At least I have a transition like shade to work with. Stay hydrated and superwoman. Okay, I'm glad that I got a transition color though. That helps. But oh my hat, I don't even know what I'm going to do here. So I've done my brows already and then cleaned up under them. Guys, my brows, desperate need of a thread because yo. Okay, look, the concealer like covers it up. But there's like no shape actually happening here. I don't know why I'm nervous for this. I'm just like... I just want to add that I am going to be doing my um, eyes first. So I'm going to be going in with this... P. Louise base and I use the Rumor 2 shade. It's so funny because every time I do this, I'm always like, I know I look like a crazy person, but just trust the process. However, I can't say you should trust the process because I don't know what I'm doing with this one. So I think we should start off safe. Let's start with brown sugar. So I'm gonna go into my crease with brown sugar and I'm just gonna use this like really fluffy brush. All the branding off of this, of this brush has like rubbed off already, um, but I know this is a Sigma brush. And I guess I'm just gonna like keep packing this into the crease, fluffing it out. Okay, I know that, yo, I actually look sick. I look sick. So I'm gonna spray, this is a finishing spray though. It's maybe, maybe we should just fetch the Fix Plus. Okay, I know it looks surf, but it's only because there's like gold dust and stuff in here. Maybe I shouldn't use this one then if there's dust in here. I wonder. Ugh, it's not that bad. Just wetting this brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take Stay Hydrated, that's what it's called, and then pack it all over the lid. Okay, 
and then taking this little fluffy brush and then I just want to buff these edges out by the way if you're wondering this is like a switch beauty um, brush from the metal gloss range um, many of you guys have been asking me for more like details on the brushes that I use so I'm gonna try and mention when I use like a brush I'll try and mention like what brush it is it's like the colors like fading at the top here so I feel like maybe I should pack it on with a brush that isn't wet let's see what that does This brush is from Juvia's Place. It's a small shimmer brush. I don't know why it says small because this is quite, it's quite big. These Juvia's Place brushes, I really, really like them. And they're still available, I think. You can get them with Muse Beauty. So that is what we are working with at the moment. It's blended into like this really smoky situation, which I actually don't mind that much. So I know I'm still going to use the pink, but I think I'm going to use the pink on my lower lash. What if I completely wreck it? <laughs> so I am going to do the rest of my face quickly and then I'll be right back when it's time to put like lashes on and things and then do the bottom lash. I'll be right back. I was thinking like maybe I should do like a little tiny cut crease in the in the like inner section of the lid and then that's where I put the pink. Like wouldn't that be fun? Maybe I should do it because I mean hello. Like I know this looks cool but it's kind of like boring if I just do like pink at the bottom. So I think I'm gonna do it and then if it's if it looks like messed up like whatever it's just for fun so i'm taking that p louise base again and then i am going to create a little bit of a cut crease just over here okay let's see what this is gonna look like oh <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go in with Superwoman. This packing brush is not a vibe. Mm. Let's try this one. Ah, way better. This packing brush is a just an essence brush. It's actually a concealer brush, but I've never used it for concealer before. She looks a little bit red on camera, but that looks fun. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna take just this like really dense um, fluffy brush. This one's actually from Ruby like cotton on take a little bit of stay hydrated and then just like blend that out with the purple the purple the pink i can't believe i got blue and pink for this challenge like so these are the lashes that I'm going to be using. They are from Kiss. They the blowout lashes. So while I wait for my lashes to dry, I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm not too sure if I want to put liner on with this. Uh, I think it's going to be about too much. So I'm just going to go in with some mascara with me. And the mascara I'm using is um, the Bad Gold Bang from Benefit. I don't know why but this eye look reminds me a lot of like Harley Quinn. I think it's the blue and like this pink is looking kind of reddish on camera. Ooh. A 
Okay, so these lashes look like they're quite ready to be popped on. So, so now I'm going to take that pink shade and smoke out the bottom lash. So pigmented. And then I'm going to be taking a little bit of brown sugar and just blending that in with the pink. Um, I'm going to go in with the Essence Big Bright Eyes. Put it in my waterline. Before we go in with the lip, I actually want to put on or just add some like faux freckles. My foundation covers up my actual freckles. So I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Cork Lip Pencil. I just like to use this brown like regardless of like what color. I think I'm going to do like a pink to go with my pink. It's not like I'm going to do a blue. So I found three that I'm going to swatch on my hand. The first one I've got is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Bright, Bright Fuchsia. And then we have the Revlon Cloud Blotted Lip Color in Pink Alicious. To be honest, I don't even think, I don't think that's a nice one. So let's take that one out completely. <laughs> So it's between that Maybelline one and then I've got this Estee Lauder lipstick um, in Stun. I actually think I'm going to go in with the Maybelline one. The Maybelline one is this one. This like really hot pink. I don't even think I've used this lipstick before. Finishing off with some of the Switch Beauty Superhero Spray. Alright guys, so this is the end of my video. So obviously this is not the kind of makeup look that I would usually create or like the colors I would even choose together. Like, I mean, come on. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. A little bit of a fun video here on my channel. Um, let me know what you guys think of this makeup look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know if you guys want to see more like challenges like this. Like this was really fun. I actually really enjoyed doing this. I'm literally going to take this makeup off now. I can't even deal. Like it's just way too much for me um i'll see you guys in my next video bye